Hello, welcome to Barton Bells. My name is Lauren. I'm Ian. And today is our Strength in Swings class, week three of our summer programming, where mm -hmm. we have our kettlebells off to the side that we'll get to in one second, more like seven minutes. Until then, we'll warm up our body weight and then we'll get going. We progressed, we're progressing to our single arm swings tonight, dabbling mm -hmm. into a little bit of cleans for future building. And then we're going to continue keeping our get ups going with our singles and our doubles in a row. So stay tuned for that. Let's first get our body weight warmed up and then we'll grab our bells. Starting with the head, neck, and maybe it's that squat stance or similar, maybe nice and narrow, just like Lauren as well. With the hands facing forward or palms facing forward at your side, low effort, tuck a chin. Very modest, try to keep your eyes on the horizon, but get the chin towards the sternum. From the sternum now, look at the floor and look across the clavicle to the shoulder as you do a nice little slide over, then look up the wall, find the center and pull the crown high and repeat. Look straight ahead, hello, we're right here, and when your chin can't go any further, then look down. Then trace the opposite clavicle, look up the wall or out the window to the ceiling and pull the crown high, finishing straight ahead. We'll reverse the order, but look straight ahead as well. Keep looking straight as you extend the head neck. Then look up, then look down the wall. Then avoid sniffing the armpit on a hot day like today, but go through the armpit to clavicle to middle of chest and then return up. Look up, look out, look down the wall, tuck the chin across that collarbone, find the middle and return to center. Same effort through that rib cage or T-spine, but this time place the hands across the body. Start with the shoulder blades in retraction and a moderate chin tuck. Then you can adjust those eyes and then easy does it, but flex the spine rounding forward. Keep the shoulders together. Rotate to the right, side bend to the back corner, lift up and over. Now pull yourself down in the middle. From that position, let's rotate to the other side. Side bend, lift up and over to the back and just pull, returning into the middle, center. Switch our direction, keep the eyes on the horizon, but we'll look up with the head and then rotate up and over with the body. Side bend to the back corner, but this time circle to the front. Pull down on the core, lift up through the rib cage, rotate to that opposite back corner. Enjoy a side bend there and rotate forward, pull down on your shield as you pull up. One more thing for the upper body warm up for me and then towards Lauren for those ankles and ground based things. But start with your hands facing forward and make light fists. Then keep your elbows very straight, but bend on the wrists to have the knuckles face forward. From this position, gently bend on the elbows. Pull an imaginary rope apart to tauten up that grip between the hands. Shrug, but just once in our kettlebell practice, we'll keep those shoulder blades low and aim to have those elbow tips facing forward. Pull the elbows down, point your fingers to the back wall, and then initiate extension or opening up those wrists. Follow that with a straightness or elbow straightening extension. Pull the shoulders together, reach the hands towards one another out the back, get that nice extension shoulder move, then make fists with the fingers. Bend with the wrists. Biceps curl, do a hand check as you tauten up that rope between, then pull the armpits low, elbow tips forward, point the fingers to the back wall, open up the wrists in extension, then just like our kettlebell swing, we'll keep our shoulders so tight, squeezing together as you reach out front and let that fall back down with our shake. Check those shoulders, we'll get into some pressing actions and our get-ups with load in a second, but first, just a couple ground-based stretches with Lauren here. Excellent, we'll get those feet going first. I like where we've been pedaling through our feet. So we'll start in the parallel position and we'll pull one foot into that demi pointer lunge foot as we'll get lunging later today. And then we'll press up and switch pushing the heel down. Let's just march through those a couple times here. Knees and ankles are staying in that forward direction. And each time we're pulling the kneecaps up and squeezing the butt cheeks ending in our tallest, most point. Let's pause here, one foot up. Then let's gently point our toes, flex and round over the toes. My goal in my life is to be able to do this for my whole life, so stay tuned for hopefully a couple more years. Point, toes, 
As we press up, we'll switch pressing through those feet. Point, gently flex over the toes. Oh yeah, the opposite of the shoes. Then back to the balls of the feet. Let's do that one more time. As we do this, use your toes to point, round into the floor, and then try to push your toes into the floor to come back up to the ball, to the toe, the ball of the foot. Whoops, and prance to switch. One last time, point, flex over. Push into the floor to get back to the tiptoe. This time, let's just go ball of foot, heel connect, hips extend. Next, we'll send our knees towards over toes and just wheel side to side. It's a very specific action. Peel the heels off the floor, just stay the same height. Then we'll press out of that, grow up, and heels connect to the floor, knees stay straight. Let's reverse that up, knees bend. Find the heels to the floor. Now stay down here. Let's sink a little lower, try to keep your heels down. Try to keep your heels down, try to keep your heels down. Once your heels can't stay down any longer, peel them off the floor. Soft landing on those knees, hips extend. We'll point your toes at the back, let's sit back into those feet for a second. How does it feel through the arches, through the bottom of your feet, through your quads? Next, squeeze your cheeks, extend your hips. And of course, our first, our wrist warm up before we do our get ups today. With our arms extended out front, let's protract or send our shoulder blades forward, then retract our shoulder blades back together like you're pinching a pencil. Look at your elbow pits, can you send them up towards the sky? And then from there, as we hinge, our blades are staying back, our elbow pits are staying forward, our eight fingers try to touch the floor first. Check in with those elbows, are they still straight? Are the shoulders still packed as the palms then come down to the floor? Once the palms are on the floor and the thumbs, let's keep those elbow pits facing forward and quickly push our babies heavy into the floor. Then our ring fingers, then our middle fingers, then our index fingers, followed by lastly our thumbs. Keeping those shoulders down and elbows straight, let's press up to those first knuckles again and then control the down. Let's do that three more times. Try not to bend those elbows and add a little wrist extension. So could you get your elbows, sorry, your shoulders over top of your wrists as you do this. One last time, we'll press and then we'll flick the floor away. Give that a little shake. Let's rotate our hands 180 degrees so our fingers face our thighs. And again, all eight will come down and then the palms will absorb. Shoulders will be pulled down out of your ears. Palms stay heavy on the floor as you sink back into this. Keep your shoulders down, keep that connection to the floor, all 10 fingers heavy, then rock forward. Try to bend your elbows, but keep your palms connected. Could you sit back a little bit into that and then lightly peel the floor away, your palms away from the floor. Give that a little shake out. Should we stay down here and get back up? We'll get back up. From here, let's get back up by using our ankle squat. So extend our hips, tuck our toes, with or without your hands, rock back, find your toes first, balance. Then try to find your heels, keep your spine extended. Next, press through to tall, one balance, and then control the down, and then give it a little shake. Trick little jaw. tricksters there, Laura. Trick I have two kettlebells off to the side, a heavy one and a light one. I'm gonna grab the lighter one first, warm up with it with a couple holds as we explore our squat, and then with that heavier one, Lauren's gonna get us doing some get-ups. Whether it's barehanded in a body weight way or with a kettlebell, practice this move and then the get up with Lauren. Lauren introduce the hinge. We've done that in our swing practice as well. So chop the hips, press the hips back and grab the top of that kettlebell nestled right between the feet. Preload, meaning pretend to lift it, feel how heavy it is. Then in one move, zip it up the body and catch it in the goblet. Pull the shoulders together, engage that shield, and could you still talk underneath of that high tension with the core? Um, Return the kettlebell. that kettlebell to the ground or finish your lovely song. Add a little shake. Let's just repeat that one more time. Two hand cheek clean. Pack the shoulders, Oops. zip it up the body, and catch. Elbows are tight to the body, grips are firm, shoulders are packed, core is braced, feet push out. It's all those same cues we share for the swing. Return it to the floor. Come up barehanded, fully enjoy the shake. Step away from the bell just for a quick second. What is your squatting stance? Just outside of those hips, personalize your squat. And for a quick second, 
take the breath in as we pull ourselves down. And just like Lauren had his freestyle in that previous toe squat version, maybe just rock and roll, aim to keep the feet nice and heavy no matter where those knees go. You got it. Little boxer size down here. Then push the hips through and stand up. Shake it out. We'll come back to that in just a second. The press is following us later today, so let's just warm up a couple cleans with an assist into one arm position or that racks position. And more cleans next week. More cleans next week. So for that, we'll both do a quarter turn with our hands, excuse me, the handle, so the handle is in parallel with our feet. The bell will be in my right hand to start, so I'll grab it first, pinky side nearest the corner to you, then cl clasp the other hand around like a little security blanket there. Pack your shoulders. How heavy is it? Do you feel the preload? Then zip through and hold in that racks position for a couple seconds. Crush the grip with your fingertips, pack with the shoulder, then take two hands on, return it to the floor, come up barehanded, shake it out. What went well? What would you like to improve? Improve, and we'll do it again on the same, same on the other side. Hip hinge. Single hand is my left, cuddle around with that other side, cheek clean to the rack, hold for time, squeeze your bum, brace your core, vertical forearm says Lauren with that point. Then two hands on, return to the floor, bare head it up, and one last freestyle squat. Open those hips for the get up in just a second. Pull yourself down. Can you get low? We could freestyle by trying to raise those arms overhead. Whew, that's a big T spine or upper back stretch. And then maybe pull down to that racks position. So maybe carrying a load there too. Then take a breath down low and find that core power to stand up, bring those heels together, little shake, little wiggle. My body felt safe with this load, so I'll be grabbing my heavier one as you proceed with some get-ups. I'll keep it handy for the swing, and feel free to go back and forth between your heavy and light load, or a body weight and a load. Personalize your workout, stay safe, stay strong, and I can't wait for Lauren to talk us through this get-up. Can't wait. Can't wait. Well, you don't have to because it's time now. Okay. Let's get to the floor. Try not to use any hands getting towards your kettlebell. Mm. As we've been working on the past two weeks, and we're going to con keep consistent throughout our summer practice, is one get up each side and then two get ups in a row each side. So depending on what bell you're using, maybe you're progressing and slowly adding a little bit more load, or in your body, in your two in a row, your second get up is body weight whatever it may be, one get up each side, and then we're gonna warm up our single arm swings in between these sets today. So no matter what you're doing, with or without a weight, always start in your cuddle. Then roll to your back and two hand and press that bell. Oh, I have a cute little pony and it's in the way. It's so nice to feel that again. Extend your hip, pull to your elbow. Find your hand. Pushing your foot into the floor, bridge your hips, sweep the leg under. Press the floor away. Now is where we look forward, setting up our lunge, pushing forward and back to get to tall. Come on down. Leg you can touch, drop back lunge. Front foot opens. We rotate hinge, stacking our shoulders as we look at the bell. Sweep, elbow to your back, two hands on. Bell comes down. Always return via that cuddle. Take your time, rotate yourself around. And we'll repeat the same thing on the second side. So one get up again. As usual, cuddle. Two-handed roll, two-handed press. We do that two-handed press because sometimes that bell is so heavy. Heavier than what you can press with one hand to the elbow, to the hand. We bridge and sweep. Next, hand leaves the floor, hips extend. Square up your lunge, looking forward. Both legs, hoop. step back that leg you can touch. Step open, rotate, hinge, stack before you sweep, then to the elbow, and then to your back. Pull your bell down, return it via the cuddle. Take your time, same rules as when you came down. No hands, stand back no up. No hands, no <sighs> hands. Well, In, so, oh. Go ahead. I was just gonna say probably what you were gonna say. In between sets of our get-ups here, we'll be working on techniques for that single arm swing. This set exclusively we're doing hike passes. We'll be doing it together. So Lauren, just show us what one of those would look like. 
Firm hand on the bell, pull to zipper, park. Repeat for just a couple, three per side here, then stand up barehanded, shake it out, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. You can go ahead, I'll watch this. Okay, okay. Team me in here, if you didn't, if you went with me, let's watch. If you didn't go, single hand on, pulling that bell back to the zipper or groin position and placing it down. You can hear it soft like a cat when it lands. If you're finding it's clunky on the landing, it's because you're standing up and then having to plop the bell back down. Hinge, other side, grip. Staying low, using that chair rail behind Lauren here as an example. Her pony might just get above it, but her body is staying so strong, so stiff below. You've been following along. I've been working on this ponytail for a couple months now. Actually, a year. Anyway, pull. Park, good. As you do this too, you can feel that lat engage as you pull back to the zipper. It. So it's all core, it's all lats. I pointed there. It's all connected. It's all connected too. We'll be going back to the floor for the get up. And as Lauren said, let's try to do it without any hands. Ooh, a cross leg get yeah, down. Yeah, that was tricky. I like that pistol squat to get down nice. too. So it's two in a row here this time. Maybe you do one with the bell fold by one body weight. We do one and a half because you're working to two in a row. Whatever it is, let's get started now. You call we'll it. go cuddling. We're cuddling together here. We're rolling and pressing. Drive the hip. Lisa knows from that comment the other day, push through the floor and sweep. Then push the hand away. We square up a lunge, full body tension to tall stand. Pull ourselves down. Open, looking at that bell now, hinge. Sweep the leg, find the elbow, return to your back. One more time, drive the hip, tall sit, sweep the leg, press the floor away, square up the lunge, full body, and pull yourself down. Open to windmill. Look at that kettlebell now. Stabilize with your eyes to tall sit, elbow to your back, two hands, and down. Whew. It's hard to do while you talk, but it you is. want to be able to do that and breathe. And talking is a nice indication that you're still able to breathe. So breathe with control, breathe from behind your shield, shake it out, what went well? What do you want to refine, Lauren? And we'll do it one more time for two on this side. Excellent. <laughs> Nothing to add. <laughs> Nothing to add. Nothing to add. So we'll call out again here as you go from our cuddle to our roll, to our press. It's that bent leg drive elbow. Tall sit, sweep the leg, press the floor away and square up our lunge, full body tension to stand. Pull, down, open, windmill, hinge the floor, sweep tall sit, elbow to your back, stay loaded, do it again, drive the hip, find the hand, Bridge sweep, press away windmill style, square, tall, pull yourself down, open up, windmill hinge, sweep, elbow, back with control, two hands on, give it that cuddle, mm -hmm. and Lauren said no hands, does the hand on the kettlebell count? Yes. <laughs> ah, darn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. We have hard sides, we have strong sides. Work both, stay safe. That was a lot of work. I'm very happy with how that went. Good. But I know there's more coming up. So I'll be putting that one off to the side. Next, our single arm drill. We'll be progressing from our hike passes. We're gonna combine everything in one. Would you like to be my model? I'll be the model. You don't have a choice. Okay. Hike pass. I'm gonna make you do my favorite number. Hike pass for three. If you'd like to watch this, we'll go next, or you can join Ian. Hike passes for three. Pull to zipper, park. Stay the same height, engage your lats, feel that load from hammies and glutes. This time, three stop swings. Pull, swing, through, park, repeat. Again, it's your hips driving that bell through. You're ending up at chest height, and now you're finishing with three continuous. One, through, zip. Good. Chest height, strong ex exhale as your hips drive through. Take your time if that felt a little fast for you. 
slow it down. Mm. You should probably actually not slow the pace of the drill down, right. but just take breaks in between. That's right. So as I go, you go away, James, to give you rest. So Team Lauren, he'll be hike passing his hand to zipper and park with quiet. Hand to zipper, park quiet. One arm swing repeated by the stop position on the ground. Reload, re-go. Three of those is a total as well here. There's our three. And now as a team here, let's go three all together. Find power. That bell almost flew overhead like a snatch. It was so powerful. And shake it out. Those first Whew. ones are. Is that both sides for me and you? No, no, no. You have a second side. Okay, good. I was thinking I was nice a little try. bit slacking off there. Second side, same routine. Three hike passes. Pull. Park. Off arm comes with you to that hip. Then on these stop swings, strong exhale. And park. Good. Make sure you're taking time to think about your breathing. It's very important as we swing. Three continuous. One. Strong at the top. Elbow straight, chest height, park bell. Add the wiggle in between. Repeating with Team Lauren here, it's zips. Hands to the zipper for three, or also that hike pass, we call that. Then three repetitions of a stop swing, which is a full swing, repeated by the park. Two more of those, Team Lauren, go for it right These here. These are hard. They are hard. It's very close to 10, more like 10 than three. But that's also a favorite number for Lauren. This time, she's doing three repetitions of that continuous swing to the zipper, park, body weight. Up. Stop swings. So sometimes those stop swings are more challenging than the continuous swing. So let's do some continuous swings to make that stop swing feel not so bad. Hmm. You got to do those tough drills to be better at the easier ones. ones. You got it. All right. Today's practice for swings, building up our single arm endurance as we progress towards some single arm, more swings and cleans next week. This week we'll do this Upsy shape. Downsies. I prefer the word pyramid. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, six, six, five, five. We'll be going in the I go, you go pattern. I go five on one arm. Ian does five on the, his first arm. Five, five. So equal work to rest. Grab the bell you're gonna need. Team Lauren said they were going first there. Oh, so with a single hand on the bell, we're looking for five repetitions or a number for you that represents low. We'll be following that with medium and then high. So Lauren here is going for five repetitions of that one-arm swing, followed by the park, and then Team Ian here, or the people who are watching, let's do it again. All right, Team Ian, five single-arm swings. That off-arm is swinging with you. If you forget about the off-arm, the best thing to do is tap your bell out front on every swing. Once you're used to that and you consistently do it, then you can come to that rack position. Excellent. Lauren's pose at the top again looks like this. It's A+. Plus. A solid A mark is also with those two hands out front. The arm traces the outside the hip, no matter what. Helps it nice and square and powerful. All right, team in. Second side, five again. Strong exhale, feet rooted. Everything's nice and straight and strong at the top of your swing. Cheeks are squeezed, core is braced. Whew. Cheek squeeze, core braced to keep your power up and to stay safe and strong. We're adding a single repetition here, so Lauren and your team are going for six repetitions. Firm feet, full body tension, light, awesome job on those parts. Remembering that the core brace is to be kept throughout the whole time you're swinging. It's not just at the top, but you keep that core tension as you hinge back. Make sure you protect by bracing. That brace. There's always tension in that swing, as Lauren said, and an extreme high tension at the plank when that kettlebell is taken from in the float. Lots of words to describe what's going on to make sure that you feel strong. Park with control, shake it out, adjust the hair wardrobe. Yeah, it's a lot of adjustments today. To Let me try, go ahead. Team me in six. Remembering if your single arm swings right now are too much for you, you could lower the reps or you could do this whole drill with two-handed swings. I think I said single arms, two-hand, but I'm a single arm. Two-handed swings. Oof. It's hard to. <laughs> We're coming to that apex of the pyramid or the crescendo on the up here as you go up to seven repetitions. Stay strong. Stay quick. 
a little bit glitchy there on the camera, but looking powerful right here. Amazing water. And then. Uh, oh, I hope we don't lose that internet. We had bad luck last week. Seven for Team Ian here. At the top of that swing, there's something important I was going to tell you all. And now it's gone. Stay powerful. Stay powerful. It'll come to me when I do this. It'll come to you in the swing. Focus on the swing though right now, not what's for dinner. Just it wasn't that. Your shoulder pack. Your turn and grip. The elbow straight. Lauren called me out last week for that. So this week, I'm retracting that shoulder. I know. Super straight. I know what it was. Okay. Oftentimes, I know single arm swings. Sometimes one hip. Seven, let's go. Seven. Sometimes one hip likes to come forward, that arm that's loaded. Make sure both hips come through. I like to think of those flashlights, belt buckle to rib cage, whoop, bow through. No. No, Kristen. Save that for Baz Norman for Elvis. We're going back down that here. So long as team is going for six one arm swings. We could also, excuse me. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. We could also pattern, pattern with the right way, pattern with the bottom, bare hands. To make sure you're ready for it. Yeah. Oh, it's really bad. Team in six, make up for it here. Six single arm swings, shoulder packed, feet rooted, butt cheeks abs, butt cheeks abs, strong exhale. <clears throat> Loose in between. Second side, same number, number six. For us, last thing, let's slow that heart rate down by breathing in slow and then slower. For those swinging, it's that, that, that timing of the exhale to your powerful moment, hip extension. We only have two more rounds. Ian's finishing up his third last round. We're breathing, forcing that exhale, taking that big breath in, shaking out our grips. Two more sets of five. High tension in the swing, so you deserve some relaxation in between. It's not necessarily easy being loose to rest. You try to let it go and save all that high effort for the swing. Team Ian, second last set of five here. I really think as this bell gets heavy, trying to keep that shoulder retracted. Don't let it pull you forward. Forward, pack it in. One last set for me. It's those rhomboids, those shoulder blade muscles attached to the spine that retract, and the elbow that stays stiff, the triceps that stay nice and strong, protecting your core, your back, and all other body parts concerned. Hmm. Thank goodness this is the last set. Let's do it. Five. Team in last set. Team Lauren. Nice big inhale. Strong exhale. Loose. Team in. Keep the tension. Keep the exhale. Keep the list check off. Park the bell. Let's all try to breathe in and out of our nose here. Mouth closed. Nice big inhale. Nice exhale. Let's let Timmy in catch up for three more breaths here. Trying to slow it down. In and out. In and out. Let's do our added bonus breathing now. Inhale for four. Hold your breath for four. Exhale for four. Same thing again, in for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. In with more, in for four. Hold for four. In more for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. One more round like this, in for four. Hold. In. Hold. Exhale, hardest part, hold, four, three, two, one. It's tricky. Eyes open or eyes closed, right there. I was kind of in between both. Feels good to close your eyes, but also just to remain focused on the horizon. Can feel good too. Now, just before we go any further, check in with your breathing. Are you caught up? Pretty, pretty chill. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm resting. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm pretty. Relax there. So take your time. Use the breath to help you gain even more endurance out of those swings just by slowing down your breath. It's challenging. 
Challenge. Pressing time, Ian. We've done our get up. That's right. We're taking kettlebells from the ground to overhead. That's not done yet. Now we'll be continuing to work on that overhead press. So that'll be using my light kettlebell again. We'll bring that from the back to the front. Me too. Use your hinge and the possible to lift up and down. And if with our presses overhead, we work on our single leg squat. Lauren just grooving that with her bare hand. And maybe you do the same. Or <coughs> check it out, rack position to overhead. What's your numbers today, Lauren? Let's try to do four sets. Awesome. I'm going to think about doing three, four, three, four. Ooh, upsies down. Three, four, again. three. Okay. Four, three. It's like a zigzag. Zigzag. Okay. All right. So be quiet doing our presses here. Your numbers can be different. Yeah, we'll do it all together. Four here. sets. Okay. Same time, you say? Same time. Okay. You can use that chi clean we patterned early today. So using your hip hinge, zip up that bell. When you're ready, three presses. Butts and abs help you in your press too. You have that vertical forearm. And up, pull the bell down. Park. Take a couple seconds off. Wipe your forearm sweat. Stay, and we'll do the same. Those do the same thing on the other side. Remembering feet root into the floor. Think about jamming up, not jamming, pulling up your quads, squeezing your glutes, bracing your core, and that or shoot that bell towards overhead. Second side, same number. And one. Two. Off arm has tension when you press. Three. Good. Thinking of, we talked about this this weekend, thinking about that core like a coil or a spring. You're not balancing out of it, but you're pulling it down and then bracing, okay. pushing out of it. That's right. So with that, more one of those ankles and our squats. So let's continue, excuse me. We'll continue with our single leg squat progression. Take a single leg up. That's a little low flamingo. And from here, get on the knee bend, single leg. Stay low, but lift the knee up on the elevated side and get a little lower and then push it through finishing tall. More to your number three. We'll just do two of these here today though. So let's do it again. As you go knee towards over toe, stay low. Then lift the other leg up higher. Then try to get lower and extend that hip through finishing tall to two feet. <laughs> like it's easy, hope it's not. And embrace that little shake and wiggle. Make sure the coast is clear. I'm a little bit close to my kettlebell there, just in case. So I'll step to the side, bring it up, single leg squat as low as you can go. Then lift up the knee on the other side higher, aiming to get lower, and then pushing through, finishing tall again. Last one. Give a subtle tailbone tip like cow in the hip. Lift the knee up, get lower, and then push through, finish tall. Stay on two feet. And shake and wiggle in a second or two. It's time to press again. Presses. We're going for four. What are you going for? Let us know. Whatever it is, crush it. Here we go. Inhale. Hup. One. Inhale down. Hup. Two. Three. Four. Good job. Park that bell. How are your feet? Rooted. Rooted. How are your butts? Squeezed. How are your kneecaps? Locked in or pulled up. How is your brace? Braced. Core. The shield. <laughs> okay. Same thing. Second side. You can adjust your stance after you're clean. Sometimes I step a little narrower. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Trying to a little bit make that breath exaggerated on our mics. So you can try to pattern that breathing with us. It's really important. It'll make you stronger. You know. Promise. Replicate, replicate that same single leg exercise, but just have the knee face out to the side. So start pulling it up in the front. Then open to the side. So there's a triangle between your standing leg and the leg out to the side. Do your knee over toe squat. Then lift that leg higher, aim to get lower, and push your hip through, finishing tall. One more time. Knee over the toe, we have a slight tailbone cow shape. Lift the leg up, aim to get lower, and push through, close the knee to the front, stand tall, 
<laughs> and look, that's the easy side. This is the harder side, or strong and stronger. Let's do it again. Knee front, knee side. Slow, 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 go down. Then lift that leg up, aim to get one degree lower, and push the hip through, finishing tall. I'll borderline the balance aid here, and repeat one more time. Knee over toes, sit squat, lift the lateral leg, get lower, push through, close, finish tall. There we go. We're on the zag portion of our zig, zag. Three, so we went three, four, we're back down to three. Again, you choose. Here we go, standing behind or over top of your bell. Hinge grip, cheek lean to rack. Three, one, inhale down. Two, three, park bell. Ooh, great. Give that a little wiggle shake. Same thing. Second side. Approach. Hinge. Grip. One, two, three. Ooh, park. Good work, good work. I agree. We have one more set of that, the first, our final set of squats for today. Final set. Final set. So let's pull the leg up into the front. Then we'll do one repetition with the leg in front. So go down the squat. Then straighten out that leg, the karate foot or ballet you choose. Then pull the leg underneath and finish tall. Same effort with that leg to the side. So open to the side, sit down. Straighten out that leg, hold, 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 then pull under, push through, finish center, and tall. Jake Wiggle, last two repetitions, one front, one side, on the alternate leg. Sit in your single leg squat. Point that leg out front, hold straight, and pull under, push the hip through, finish tall. Open the leg to the side, slowly sit down in your single leg again, and then reach out. Hold, point, pull in, up tall, close, finish on that, I promise. Last set of presses. Does your body say that that one more is a good number? Finish with integrity, Lauren, as you know, and when you're ready, take it. Last set of four. Or your choice. Hinge, grip, rack, press. <sighs> Butts, abs, off hand, feet rooted. Four. Ooh. Place it down with control. And then shake and wiggle. Ooh. Ooh -wee. Mm -hmm. One more set of presses today, completing our zig and zag pattern. It's a very technical term. You can hook it up in any training, training manual. Won't be there. Hinge, grip. One, two, three, four, good, nice job. I have a group of, great job Ian. I have a group of really strong individuals that come train in the studio. You can too, just check out our website or come to Guelph. It's a great place. Um, and the other day I told them to breathe a little louder, to give a little more hup. And oh boy, did those bells go up overhead. Lauren's pulling one from my bag, which is speaking more to give us more rest. Very useful tips, but not to just rest. We you caught me. To do one more yeah. Well, I'm already here, so yeah. now who's slow? No, I just can't use my hands. Not that I can't, just that you can challenge yourself. About Two first, right Ian? Oh, let's do it. Two. Cuddle. It might get a little quiet here as you're working hard. Two in a row. Cut a roll. Press. Last get ups of the day. Hip drive. Find your hand, bottom shoulder stays packed as you bridge. Sweet. Hips extend to drive that bell up and use both legs. Control that down. Same pattern. Same pace on the way down. Take your time. We spent a lot of time underneath this load today, so if it's only one, that's fine. But one more, working your way back up to standing here. 
scissoring those legs on the lunge. Sweeping elbow back and parking that bell with control. Woo. Take your time. Spin yourself around. Okay, over there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll do the last. I'll do the twos, and then you can have fun on the last ones. All right, last set of twos. Cuddle, roll, press. Foot into the floor. Extend that hip to pull onto the elbow. Again, bottom shoulder stays packed as you sweep. Use the both legs on the up. Looking forward. That arm's remaining as overhead as possible. Try not to let it drift forward in that lunge. We're controlling to our back. And we have that second of two here. Breathing as you need to. Looking up towards the bell until that lunge phase. Half get up, back down to finish these two. Thinking only about your get up. And then think about your rest. Very important while doing get ups. Don't only think about get ups. Times people mess up, they're thinking about dinner. They're thinking about their homework. Keep your focus on that bell. Okay, we have one more step. On each side, we'll call it over here. And again, we'll start from the cuddle. So tap those shoulders and front hips. Roll two hands and press. Drive that heavy foot to the floor. Elbow. Toss it. Sweep. Branch. Square up the lunge. Full stand. And again, down. Open. On the ground, the hand and sweep. We got more. Two hands down. Last get up today. Working on that get up endurance over the summer, so each class will be working on a total of those 12 get ups, and I won't let them go. Uh -oh. So, sticking around. They're sticking around. I love doing a whole workout and then finishing underneath that load. It's just really icing on the cake, if you will. Oh, that was your cue. I thought you were doing the singles here commentary. Hip drive, both legs up, last half get up down. Take your time, finishing with control and strength. As you come to your back, pull the bell down and return it to its resting position. Wow. I was really enjoying that icing on the cake at the end there. You were thinking about cake, weren't you? No, I was thinking about my get up. It's a little bit of icing on it too. Excellent. On Tuesdays, we practice our strength and swing. We sweat a lot too by the look of it at our class at four o'clock on Tuesdays. So thank you for being here live or in the archive and feel free to join us next week. We're looking for more stretch and strength and movements from the bar. When do we do that? Thursday, Thursday. at 4.05. And then on Saturdays we play with our strength, we crawl, we hover, and we work on our handstand. Sometimes bicycles appear out of nowhere. Come in. We're big proponents of an active lifestyle. Get outside, stay cool, enjoy, and take care, stay strong, and let's train soon. Have a good night. Goodbye. Who was that?